As your list of predicates grow, you run out of room doing ampersand or ors. What we're gonna do is teach you every. It's just a simple list comprehension that Lodash has that allows you to run a bunch of things and get every result. Now it's not just made for predicates, but that's what I use it for. So we're gonna create three additional predicates, then we'll run it through every and show you how you can simplify your code. We've already gotten this SNS topic, which is this gigantic blob of JSON. We've done some deep gets in it to show you how we can pierce deep into the JSON without having to unwind it, grab pieces of it. We can just let Git do all the work for us as well as has. Let's go has legit message. Three properties we're concerned about is inside the actual SNS message itself is, is the message, which could be an email or text message or just something from programming. It could even be stringified JSON if you want. The subject and the timestamp should be legit as well. We're not going to verify right now. We're just going to say that it actually have one. O could be anything. We're going to break it down to a couple lines here. I'm going to get the message and we could wrap this in a predicate as well. But for now, we'll just say get record zero. SNS message of that message. It needs to be a string and we want the length greater than zero. I can spell length correctly. It's message, whoopsie. This is why you like single argument functions. You don't have to memorize that kind of stuff. If we run this, we get a true that the message is in fact legit. So let's keep going. We're gonna do subject the same way as legit subject. Again, we're not getting it. We're just trying to verify it's even legit. Not waste our time with this method. When I say waste our time, I don't mean performance. I mean you writing additional code or running additional code. Say so get, same thing with the record zero SNS subject. Subject. Sorry folks, it's Friday. I'm positive, but exhausted. So if the subject is a string and its length is greater than zero, I did it again, didn't I? <laughs> To have it. I've read a lot of predicates. That works as well, and we can test that guy. Log has subject. It's not, oh, it's data. Run him. He's good. One more for good measure. Has legit timestamp. Timestamp is going to require a, an additional predicate, so let's write that first. Let's do a legit date. And a legit date has two things. First, it's considered a date data type, not a string. And number two, if we do a two string on it, it does not return invalidate. You can make invalidate simply by going new date, passing in the word cow as a string. So it'll give you a date object back, but it's not really valid. Validate the timestamp itself. So the timestamp is the actual string that we get way up here. So if you look at this timestamp right here, it's actually inside of the SNS message. Oh, records, zero. SNS timestamp. So that'll give us the timestamp here, and then from there we can go ahead and convert it to a date, or at least attempt to. So const date equals new date timestamp turn. Now this is not necessarily pure because this could blow up, and that's okay. We're just illustrating the concept here. Validate that the timestamp is in fact a string, and the date is legit. If you wanted to be uber safe, we could actually put this here. That way this function won't even run. So it has a legit message, it has a legit subject, and it has a legit timestamp. Let's write a function that will test all three of those with one function, and we'll do it in a very concise way that allows you to run many, many, many ones. JIT SNS message. So I'm gonna return every. Lodash every says, take a list of things, whatever they are, we'll pass in our functions here. So we'll say has legit message, has legit subject, has legit timestamp. Fronge bread, fronge dressing. Just kidding, we don't have predicates for that. The second parameter to every is a callback function. We'll say function, it takes one and only parameter, and that's the predicate. The predicate are these things. This function is gonna run three times because there's three items in the array. And this function will return true or false. If it returns true, we'll just go ahead and run it like that. And that means that every single item returned true, and thus every is true. So if every predicate is true, then this returns true. If even one of them returns false or something other than true, it's not gonna work. We'll pass in nothing just to show you how it works. So it returns true. Now let's actually run this. We'll take our predicate function, which are these guys, and we'll pass them O, which is this up here. If even one of them doesn't validate the message, the subject, the timestamp, then this will return false and it'll say, well, not everything returned true, therefore this is not a legit SNS message. Go ahead and put the data in there. And true, there you go. Let's go ahead and fat finger a teensy bit on the timestamp here. 
get rid of that colon, rerun it. And as you can tell, found it was an invalid date and said, nope. And so this guy ran. If we don't validate the timestamp and rerun it, you'll see it's true. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you use every to run many, many things when you start running out of room doing ampersands and you don't feel like hitting return <laughs> and tab to format those things. These are short circuit. These will run regardless if the other one doesn't short circuit. That's how you use every for building many, many predicates and simplifying them into one single message to verify of a lot of things in a very simple, pure way.